Hola a todos, aquí Tony 22, 080, continuamos con Tell Me Why y el capítulo anterior acabamos con el acto 2. O sea, eh, hicimos la primera parte del juego, segunda parte del juego y ahora empezamos la tercera, que creo que es la última. O sea, nos esperan unas dos o tres horitas, serán otros eh, cinco capítulos, seis más o menos, aproximadamente. Eh, estuvimos en el cementerio, el último capítulo, perdonando a, a Tessa, sabiendo más la verdad, y también eh, vimos que alguien intentó quemar el granero, y en el granero habían escondidas unas cartas de la supuesta persona, que fue el amante de eh, Merian, o sea, nuestro padre, y, y que estaba casado, o sea, esa persona estaba casada. Tuvo una relación eh, fuera de la vida matrimonial y entonces nacimos nosotros. Vamos a continuar, vamos a continuar con la historia y a ver qué ocurre. Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, crafty goblins faced the truth about the darkness in the big wooden house. It had come for the wise princess, driving her mad and causing her to attack them. When they started asking questions about the princess in the darkness, the goblins realized that no one else in the forest wanted to know the truth. So they dug and searched and asked hurtful questions, learning more about the wise princess than they had ever hoped to. But the search took its toll. The darkness was proving too much for Sister Goblin, and yet Brother Goblin kept diving deeper and deeper until Sister Goblin finally said, enough. And that was how the goblins found themselves separated again, hurt and confused, with so many unanswered questions and too many open wounds. only go forward and find a new place for herself in this world. Where she was no longer truly a princess in a tiara and a beautiful gown, 
but a wan woman, alone in a deep and ancient wood. Capítulo 3, herencia. Pero si no tenía nada que dar, estaba un juego. Me ha recordado un montón, un montón, un montón, el principio del capítulo, a Alan Wake, a esa persona encapuchada y las páginas perdidas del libro. Vale, pues eh, vemos. Buenos días, comencé a juntar los documentos que necesitas para tu solicitud de renta. Te dejé la carpeta abajo, en el mostrador de cocina. Si aún irás a almorzar con ti, puedes dejar los documentos y me aseguraré de sacarte algunas copias. Hoy toma la calma, tío de ti. O sea, tan, mis famosos waffles de Alfor Alforfo se están enfriando lentamente en la cocina. He's right. I'm to get my shit together. Dejan de aparecer, los tenéis. I guess I'll have to start fresh with these in Juno. Tisa Coffee Time. Es verdad, tenemos que quedar con Tisa para la de ese momento. I never imagined Uncle Eddie was hiding so many things from me. Pero era por tu bien. I could use a Michael Pep talk. Me encanta este cuarto sin demoradas. Now would be a good time to stop smoking and maybe do a detox at 12. Ah, 
How did we go from being so alike to, to total opposites? I gotta think about something else. I wish I could just book a one-way ticket to the other side of the world. Pedazo de nadado que tiene en la habitación. There's not enough concealer in the world to erase the night I had. Good to know I look just as bad as I feel. I could do my laundry. Ugh. Maybe later. Me gusta mucho, mucho la acción. I miss the slopes. Eddie looks so young here. The days have gotten so short. It's gonna be a long winter. Tabla de marea. Los cuadros son. What? The... ¿Eh? something. God, I feel so weak. What the fuck? <sighs> so many months of snow boots ahead. He doesn't like this kind of attention, but he really does so much for the community. Estimado comisario Brown, muchas gracias por traer a salvo a nuestro niño la semana pasada. Sin usted, tal vez lo hubieran conocido y quién sabe qué les hubiera pasado a ellos o a alguien más. Siempre estaremos agradecidos por su sensatez. Gracias de nuevo por no registrar esto. Son buenos chicos que cometieron un error y Dios sabe lo mucho que los antecedentes penales pueden com comprometer el futuro de un niño. Sabemos que recuerdan sus palabras eh, por mucho tiempo, pero por favor puede estar tranquilo de que haremos todo posible para asegurarnos de que entiendan la magnitud de lo que puede haber para que puedan crear conciencia entre sus compañeros y la comunidad. Que Dios se bendiga. Bueno, con nosotros no puedo hacer una excepción porque una cosa es como estoy un poquito borracho. Necesito hacer todo ese papel juntos. Tal vez eso me ayude a enfocarme y aclarar mi mente. Me gustaría que mi madre me hubiera enseñado cómo hacer esto. Pero otra cosa es... Eh, <ríe> asesinar a tu madre, supongo. Otra cosa es asesinar a tu madre, supongo. Bueno, ahí está la comida, eso lo dejamos para dormir. I wish you could just change your mood as easily as a record. De esta casa. Ahora tuviera la casa así. I wish I thought shooting some hoops would help me forget all this. I wonder what Michael would think about all this. Would he even get it? I don't feel like listening to anything right now. I wonder what Tyler's up to out of the house. Muñequito. Muñequito. Qué guapo. Mm. God, the world feels so fucking small right now. I've got to find a way to get out of my head. Shadow. Eddie loved his Mishka so much. What if I just packed a bag and left? Never looked back. Vale, la licencia de conducir. Me falta la tarjeta de elección. I wonder if I'll ever hear from Tina again. Tina Wish. I so don't want to go back to the station. 
Not after yesterday. Must be great to feel like you belong somewhere. Anywhere. Y sabe que el mozo de cangrejo de Michael. Bueno, esto es una receta. Maybe if I make something for D, it'll help calm me down. I should have let myself enjoy these trips more. Vale, vamos a, a comer. Here's the file. Just need my ID and pay stubs. Okay. We were family, Allison. How could you do this to me? <sighs> Fuck. I've got to think about something else. Focus. ID and pay stubs. Where did I stash my pay stubs? And where did my wallet end up last night? Ah, ahora tienes que buscar la cartera. I can't really eat anything right now. Vale, pues entonces a buscar la cartera. La cartera está aquí. Ah, here's my ID. This place was never much more than a bachelor pad, huh? There was so much I planned to do. All those sacrifices I made. And how do you repay me? Lying to my face? You're not my child. My clan deserves better. No me digas que es malo el poli. Oh, stop it, Allison. You have to stop torturing yourself. Just grab your pay stubs so you can get the hell out of here. El malo es el poli. Vale. Verificación entre los bueno, de la solicitud de renta actual confirmó que la señorita Addison Ronan lleva empleada en la misionaria Benny Vidivici desde junio de 2013. Actualmente sigue trabajando como asistente de contabilidad. Eh, vale. en la tienda. Necesito el DNI y facturas. All my recent pay stubs should be in that folder in my room. En esa carpeta en mi habitación. Vale, pues entonces tengo que ir a la habitación. No sé qué. Puedo mirar algo más por aquí. The paperwork's not down there. Tyler. I wanted to stop messing with those memories. But he wouldn't listen. Brother, sister, we look out for each other. That's what you said. But you don't mean what you say, do you? They're just words. You left me, Allison, all alone and scared. <laughs> Se está volviendo esto muy chungo, eh. Me está dando cosa. God, where is it? Not here. Un 
recibo, sí. Here they are. O sea, esas son las nóminas. Ok. I think I've got everything I need for the application. Where's that coming from? Where did I leave my phone last night? ¿Te abajo? No, no, no. I cannot deal with you right now. Oh, my phone. I need to find it. Vamos a ver qué encontramos. Está debajo de la de la libreta, pero voy a mirar los cajones por si acaso. No, no phone here. Not here. Vamos. What's it doing here? Sí, porque dejarte tu el teléfono ahí es un poquito complicado. Hey, D. Finally. I was starting to get worried. Why didn't you pick up? Yeah, uh, sorry. I, uh, I didn't have my phone on me. Okay. Well, I just wanted to make sure we were still on for lunch. Uh, yeah, of course. I'm getting ready right now. That so? Because it kind of sounds like I woke you up. That's just how I sound. But anyways, I still have a few things to do before I can leave, but I'll be there. All right, hon. See you soon. Get it together, Allison. Come on. Grab the file, get dressed, and head out. Or it'd be nice to make a gift for Dee. God, my hands are still shaking. I miss you, pup. Departamento de Pesca de Casa de las Vale, eso sería como la licencia de, de pesca, supongo. Eddie's been too busy to fish lately. I know he's missing it. ¿Quién es? Morning. Hey, Allie. Hey. Hey, guys. What are you doing here? Tessa and I were worried after you called in sick last night. She's busy at the cafe, but she sent over some coconut cake, since you won't be making it in for lunch. That's nice, Tom. Thanks. I'm gonna head on inside. Freezing my butt off out here. Okay. Uh, thanks. Is Tyler not around today? 
Está ocupado. No, he's uh, busy out at the old house. I see. It must be hard to sell the place you grew up in. So many memories, right? Oh, it's okay. We'll get over it. I really hope so. So, Tessa told me a little bit about what happened at the cemetery. Yeah, I'm sorry it got so intense. It's just, we really needed to understand why Marianne did what she did. Especially Tyler. Oh, of course, of course. She gets that. You two didn't say anything she wasn't already thinking. She spent years blaming herself. Well, she wasn't the only one involved. There was a lot of blame to go around. I'm glad you're able to see that. It seems like your brother, well, he, he's not nearly so forgiving, is he? He has been pretty harsh, especially on Eddie. But we both got tired of people lying to us for our own good. Yes, of course, uh, totally reasonable. Though, I am sorry you're the one taking all the repercussions. I heard about the fight with your uncle. I really hope your brother appreciates your sacrifices. He will. I... I mean, he does. I'm sorry, but I, I'm pretty beat. Oh, oh, of course. I'll let you rest. Tell Michael there's no need to hurry back. Okay. Thanks for stopping by, Tom. Bye now. Take care. Sorry for abandoning you out there. Pro tip, avoid catching a ride with Tom at all cost. Did he talk about the new spicy chocolate bars? Yep, and exactly what they do to his digestion. Mm. What's up with him? I'm not sure I've ever seen him so eager to help. I think he and Tess are legitimately concerned. Plus, a door to door is part of campaigning, right? Yeah, I guess. I don't know about you, but I just really need to get out of Delos Crossing. Well, we're on our way soon, right? Right. I don't know. I, I've just got this feeling it's going to fall through and, and I'm going to be stuck here. Forever. That's not happening. We've got a plan. Help yourself to some waffles if you want. That's Eddie's way of saying I'm worried about you. Oh, that's cute. But I had a ridiculously huge breakfast, so I'm good. <sighs> I'm glad you're here, Michael. Thanks for coming. Coffee and a friendly face is just what the doctor ordered, right? I just feel like cuddling up in front of the TV all day. Maybe finally binge that last season of Witches of Eldom. Then do it. Ah, uh, I gotta drag my lazy ass out to have lunch with Dee. Allison, what's going on? Tyler and I had a fight last night. I was so excited to have him back, but... What if 10 years was too much, and we're too different? I don't think so. You just need to get to know each other again. Start with the small shit. Figure out what each other's favorite foods are, you know? And then build up to the big stuff. Yeah, that, that makes sense. The last few days have been a lot, and it's totally okay to be overwhelmed. You're gonna figure it all out. Families are fucked up. <laughs> They're basically fuck-up factories. You're right. I just need to relax. <sighs> so, maybe this will cheer you up. I think I found the perfect place. Check it out. It's pretty cool, right? Deposit's a bit high, but it's got two large bedrooms and a view of the channel. You're really going to give up our home to live in this ugly box? <laughs> oh, God. Allison? 
Allison, look at me. Are you okay? I'm just... Um... I need to... I, I just need to sit down. It's okay. I got you. It's What's cool. going on? God, everything? My anxiety's through the roof. I can't eat anything without getting sick and... And I've been seeing things. Memories of Marianne and me and Tyler when we were kids and, and Eddie and it used to just be stuff I'm pretty sure really happened but now I see them everywhere shouting every shitty thought I've ever had about myself I don't know how much more of it I can take That's intense. I'm sorry, has... Anything like this happened to you before? Right after Marianne died, I had a lot of panic attacks, but nothing exactly like this. Come here, Allie. I hear you. Okay, I hear you. You must think I'm completely nuts. No, I think you went through some really bad shit. You never saw anyone about it, right? Yeah, I've looked into therapists a few times, but they're all so far away and so expensive. Well, you know what I went through in 2011. I don't know if I'd still be here if I hadn't gotten help. You got that money coming in from the house. For our apartment in Juno, I don't want to bail on you. Look, I know you hate letting people down, but you got to put your own oxygen mask on first. I get that. And so does Tyler. Thanks. I'll try. <sighs> I really need to work on the house today, but Tyler's crashing out there. I'm not sure if I'm ready to face him. If you want, I could go out there, see how he's feeling, and if he's ready to talk. What do you think? Mmm. Deal. Yeah, maybe that could work. I hope he'll talk to you, though. He's never been the best at opening up to new people. You sure? Yeah, of course. I don't mind trying if it might patch things up between you two. Oh shit, I'm gonna be late for my lunch with Dee. I still need to change and stuff, but I can drop you off at the store if you want. Sure, thanks. No, Michael, thank you for listening. I mean it. Heidi. Hey, beautiful. You okay? Cause, girl, you look like shit. I, uh, haven't been sleeping well. But here I am. That's how much I love you, right? Aw. Well, I appreciate us having a girl's lunch anyway. Just give me five minutes so I can finish off this paperwork. Oh, no rush. I need to drop off some stuff with Eddie. All right. Oh, uh, help yourself to some cobbler. 
Mrs. Romero sent it over after I caught her flasher. It's in the break room. You better hurry before Greg's kills it off. Mrs. Romero's cobbler? I'm on it. <laughs> I'll meet you in there when I'm done with this. Vale. Pues creo que voy a parar el capítulo aquí. Vale, que hemos estado el comienzo del día. Eh, estamos preparando los papeles para irnos de alquiler. Y está teniendo una mezcla entre recuerdos y es como si viera a su difunta uh, madre. Se le está pasando algo, una cosa súper rara, súper rara con ella. Y ya me está dando malas sensaciones el policía. Y Mike se ha ofrecido también a ayudarnos a hacer las paces con, con nuestro hermano Tyler. Espero que os haya gustado el capítulo de hoy, el capítulo de Relax. Un placer estar con todos vosotros aquí, Tori 22, 380. Nos vemos muy pronto. Hasta luego, gente. Chao.